All right, this is uh, a first quarter for 2013 and actually spring of 2013 market update. What's going on? Uh, we'll start first with the Michigan market overall and then move to southeast Michigan and northwest Michigan. Uh, overall, Michigan uh, really led the country out of the uh, real estate recession into recovery. And uh, through 2012, we were sort of the hot state in the country, doing uh, better than most anyone else. Since then, a lot of the country has caught up with us, but we're still doing great. And, uh, and activity has been very strong. If you're in the market looking for a home right now, you've noticed that there are a lot of homes for sale. The inventories are down probably near record lows, depending on where you are in the state, but overall in the state, uh, down. Uh, and uh, buyer interest is up. There's a lot of talk in the industry about a shadow inventory and concern about that, um, about the potential foreclosed homes yet to be put on the market. And the reality is, and that is true, there is, there is an inventory there uh, that is slowly being released, but the biggest uh, opportunity realization that we found in the market is there's also a very large shadow demand, buyer demand. And that's even larger than, at least in Michigan, larger than the shadow inventory. So, uh, so whenever you have more buyers and sellers, you have nice things happen to values, and we're seeing that across the, across the state. Uh, specifically in southeast Michigan, uh, inventories are down compared to this time last year, about 47%. So you've got half as many homes available for sale, and you've got more buyers. So values are rising. Uh, they're ri not rising crazy, but um, they're up uh, Case Shiller's latest numbers, which are usually the best in terms of where true appreciation rates showed Southeast Michigan at about 14%. Uh, now those numbers are old. Those numbers are back to probably the fall of last year because there's a time delay in their statistics. But we're seeing, best as we can tell, uh, numbers probably that or higher right now. The median price is up over 25%. And the median isn't exactly an appreciation rate, but we think a lot of that is appreciation going on now. If you're selling a home right now or thinking of selling, this is a great opportunity. Uh, there, has, there is a built-up demand of sellers. Um, there have been sellers that have been wanted to sell for the last four or five years that haven't been able to because values have dropped. Um, if you're thinking of selling in the next two years, take a look at what's going on now in the marketplace. Values are up, and you'd be surprised at how much they've risen uh, off of the bottom. And, uh, and there's some great opportunities for sellers in the marketplace. We're seeing um, probably a third of the properties that we're selling, particularly this is specific to Southeast Michigan, uh, we're selling at, uh, with probably three or four multiple offers. Uh, at once, sometimes as many as 20 offers. So there's, uh, there's obviously great demand there. Uh, if you're, um, one of the things as a seller to be aware of, regardless of where you are in the state, is that although there's a lot of demand, it is broken up into two sort of distinct markets. And homes that are selling quickly, in other words, sell selling within 90 days, that constitutes about 86% of the transactions. But only about, in southeast Michigan, only about 15% uh, uh, of, the, of the homes which means that most of the buyers, 85% of the buyers, are chasing less than 20% of the properties. So uh, you get sort of this extreme activity level. And it's, uh, it's not as extreme in other parts of the state, but it is still, uh, you still notice that where the buyers are flocking to one type of home. So you'll get in a, in a particular neighborhood, you'll see homes sitting on the market for months while other homes are moving in days. And obviously, as a seller, you want to be in that days category, which means you've got to look at pricing um, very closely and make sure you're priced into the market. Even though values are rising, you still have to make sure you study the market and uh, use your realtor for that information. Uh, bank properties last year were about 20% of Southeast Michigan, um, less than 20% of Northwest Michigan, um, but, uh, but they're falling. At one time, it was 55% of transactions with bank owned. So bank owned short sales are still like, with us and will be with us for a number of years but they're changing dramatically. And the typical, what we used to call retail sales, are taking over as the majority of the transactions very quickly. Um, switching to, uh, to Northwest Michigan, the trends are following there. They're just probably about 18 months behind. Um, whereas in Southeast Michigan, we have uh, uh, less than, uh, than two months supply of inventory. It's about eight less than eight months supply in uh, Northwest Michigan. 
but for Northwest Michigan, that also is just barely a seller's market. Um, so the, the timing on the markets for, for the northern markets are different. Uh, homes stay in the market a little bit longer because of the seasonality of the, of the markets there. But it's still moved to a seller's market, and inventories are dropped there about 27% from this time last year. So uh, relative to the same trends of lower inventory, increasing buyer demand, increasing values, uh, we see those across the state, including south, Southeast Michigan and Northwest Michigan as well. Um, one of the things that we're hoping will happen this year uh, is that new construction will take off because that's one of the core things holding back inventory and, uh, and activity is there just aren't enough new homes being built. Uh, and we're hoping that the banks will get comfortable and start to lend uh, to builders and, uh, and get that part of the, uh, of the um, market moving again. Um, uh, we think that probably in 2015, late 14, you'll see the market cool down just a little bit because buyer demand will have this excess demand that's been built up over the last four or five years will dissipate to some degree, rates will start to rise, and you'll see a little more normalization in the market. We're also expecting an increase in inventory, probably to be released more likely in the fall. We're hoping it'll be in the spring of this year, but we think it's probably going to be more likely in the fall, because it's that time lag between sellers realizing that it's a good time to sell right now and values are up, and then getting mentally ready for that. And uh, we think typically, typically that happens in the spring, but we think because uh, sellers have been sitting back for so long, it will take a while for them to, to internalize all of this. So what will normally be the spring uh, burst of inventory will probably be more likely be later in the year. Uh, either way, you can anticipate as a buyer that there will be uh, not enough homes for what you're looking for. There will still be a shortage of available homes for sale throughout this year and probably also 2014 as well. So as a buyer, be patient. Make sure that you uh, have a pre-approval. Uh, on your uh, for your financing and or cash is king a cash buyer obviously trumps all uh, we have through John Adams through a mortgage company a pre-approval process that is a true pre-approval ready to go just waiting for the uh, the appraisal in the home which is a near cash situation and something that uh, that will help you when you're making your offers particularly when you're bidding against multiple buyers um, so uh, overall good news no bad news in the real estate market throughout Michigan particularly southeast Michigan and uh, also northwest and, uh, and southwest as well. So we, we anticipate a good year for the rest of the year. So happy hunting if you're a buyer and, and uh, good luck if you're a seller.